This is group D, the finale. It was the group of death because uh, usually where who is, this was supposed to be Lin. So imagine a group of Fly, Law, Light, Yumiko and Lin. Absolutely sick. But of course, Lin dropped out due to his hand injury and was replaced by the Korean who. So Fly made it against Law, Light, Yumiko uh, against who. Then Fly won against Yumiko and Law, Light against who. So that's why they are here in the lower bracket final. You guys think that Law Light is the small favorite here, but it's basically 50-50, so uh, could be a cool match. And these are the two players, China versus Korea once again, Nida versus Human. Of course, Law Light won uh, China versus Korea. Yumiko was not nominated for the Chinese team, as it was uh, the gang of TH, Infi, Fly, and 1-0 and Life. There's no place for Yumiko in there. But it's understandable, three humans in a team uh, makes no real sense. But we all know that there is a uh, little hatred going on, especially between Yumiko and uh, TH. So, Lolite's matchup against Human, of course, phenomenal, thanks to the Warden play. But also his statistics versus Yumiko, pretty sick, 67%. But yeah, yeah, those two players were on top of the scene quite a while ago. Law Light, uh, second place at WCA 2016, bronze medal in 2015, Yumiko, runner-up of WCA 2014, and uh, Niso winner, of course, and an NWL winner. But if you see the current ELO rating they have, the Back to Warcraft ELO ranking that you can visit at elo.backtowarcraft.com, that shows you both are in kind of a uh, slump here. So who's gonna make it into the playoffs would be a big success for both of them but we'll see about that in a bit and it's already interesting people don't see it yet but Yumiko with a late Alta. Dude we saw this so much yesterday at Hulls Cup in the final by Infi there of course he was playing against Orc but it was Fire Lord Tower Rushes twice I think it was Tower Push every single game but the heroes varied and this time Yumiko is playing the same against Night Elf. Not Fire Lord, of course, not against Night Elf, but um, it's going to be either a Naga or a Tinker, most likely. Or sometimes those crazy humans actually go for the late MK, and I think he will, because he's speed building the altar. There's no reason to do this if you want to go for a neutral hero. Uh oh, this is so bad. Laliot is not picking the Warden. As uh, I think we all expected here on Echo Isles, but it's a uh, Demon Hunter. So if this really is a Mountain King, then it's almost a win by hero choice because, you know, Mana Burn versus Stormbolt. Mm, I know the winner there. There has to be an MK. There's no reason for an Archmage, I think. He actually doesn't make a hero. Why did there he? Is. Archmage. What is going on? And he made it like five seconds late. Is he still gonna cancel it? Did he just speed build this altar so the Wisp? That would be sees next in level production? shit. Is he moving to the tavern with this footman? Not really, right? He's harassing with another footman here. So he wants to harass with two footmen and the archmage later. So he prioritizes units over heroes. This is basically unheard of. The lie doesn't start the creep though. Sees the second footy moving in, and with the second footy, nice. the jig is up. Nice. Something's going on here. It's really important. Ah, it's probably going for the AM, so if the creep camp doesn't get started, he is going to finish the AM and goes for a normal game. I think that might be the game plan here. <laughs> so much thinking going into this opening already. Pretty so, cool. Lala's game plan is pretty much, uh, not really crushed, but you know, hurt at least. Because he can't get level 2 here. <clears throat> Second engine of war, by the way, at the marketplace. And the Wisp saw this, uh, saw the AM moving south. And Yumiko always, like, I always noticed his prioritization of those crafty, well thought out early game plays. And they always look so smart. But oftentimes, unfortunately, later on, he falls off a little. Especially against Orc, that's noticeable. Yeah. But I think it's quite okay. As he's going for the expansion right away, he does have a few, like three footmen now to defend this. This is uh, way more than usual because he had the barracks earlier. So this is a pretty defensive opening, but a way more stable opening. 
I think this might work out well. Demon Hunter goes for the creep now, as there's no footman anymore. And item is important here. Or oh. I'm gonna preach generation. Very nice. Yeah, super good. He can be very aggressive with this now. Speaking of is being he... aggressive, Huntress Hall, double engine of war, mass Huntress coming. What? Is this star shape playing? <laughs> well, he played against Todd at Jera Cup. I like and... it, man, because archers don't really do anything if Yumiko goes fast defend. Yeah, and when you go for instant expo, the AM is going to be stuck on level 2 forever. Yeah. yeah. Except he gets the Tomb of Experience here, then things might pan out well for him. And I think he could just, at some point, throw down his own counter expo. I don't even think he has to all in here. And now going for the peasants. This first one looks to be dead. No reaction yet. First kill. Trying to block, but first no block. way. And there we go. Second kill. No update upgrade on the tower. He lacks lumber here. Okay, here we go, finally. But there are nice archers coming in, there's a berserker coming in, and I bet there's huntress coming in. Yep, with Wisp, so mass aggression from Law Lyot. He kills the tower with that piercing damage. It's so easy, especially thanks to the berserker. But the demon hunter drops quite low. A few misses coming in. Ring of regeneration now, man. Key Seriously. item in this build. That item is so good in the early game, man. Two tick, Wisps, tick, 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 ready tick, for tick, the tick. detonate. The water elementals are nicely lined up. Oh, not reacting. That's a little slow from Law Lyot there. Still gets the detonate off at, on at least one of them. And the demon coming in from the south again. There is one more water elemental in a bit if there's no mana burn. Going for the tower. If you can keep this tower down, then floodgates are open, as you know. Here we go. Down it is. Demon Hunter has to be a little careful not to walk into a surround here. But he's I wonder two why he prioritizes the tower so much. Uh, later on, definitely understandable. Guard tower so good against hunts. But it's always Arcane Tower first. And who cares about an arcane tower? Ah, still no counter point. expo though from the night elf. Still no tech. This is just straight up one base tier one hunt aggression. Lumber mill coming for Yumiko. And Lolite is positioning himself in between the base and the expansion to cut off reinforcements. Pretty smart. But this buys time for the expo and towers. Guard towers are quite a bit away as the lumber mill is already uh, is only now building here. Still no tech from Law Lyot. More mercenaries. Oh, but they're getting caught out. Good move by Yumi. This looks like an almost game-winning move, but he doesn't have the guts to go for the kill. He's forced back again. So much Night Elf stuff. The Demon, by the way, walked back to heal. Now he's making the long walk back again. Not buying boots or staff. That surprised me a lot here. Good number of footies now, though. It's Please. only one water elemental, and of course the Shadow Priest has a dispel. Not sure he can cancel it though. Arcane Tower down, Berserker killed with a fireball. Ooh, super important. Not oh, using nice. that dispel. Okay, he's out. And the Berserker falls as well. Nicely done by Yumiko, taking out two of the big damage to this. So there's only the Huntress left, and a good amount of footmen and Militia coming in. This looks quite decent for the Chinese, but now the Demon Hunter's coming in with a reinforcement. Finally, man. He could have been here so sooner if he had gone for those mobility items. And then this may have all looked differently. But woulda, coulda, shoulda, doesn't matter. And suddenly the AM is almost level 3 and that is gonna change the tide of this battle. To that, the Berserker kills really paid off here. There's just a little bit of healing so the Shadow Priest doesn't do too much anymore. There's gonna be quite some kills here. Level 3 on the Demon Hunter. Mana burn for 100. Can he block somehow? No, he can't. But this is control now. Mass control for Law Light and mass damage as well. He lacks a bit of piercing damage with only two archers, but I think he can tear this tower down before completion. Level 3 though. AM almost has the mana, but he's gonna get burned. He needs to run away from this bird and he's quick enough to react. Well done by Yumi. And now these Huntresses, man, they're all low health. They're all close to dying. The Militia are doing the job. And did he get burned? Mm. I, th did, I think he did, right? Yeah, he did get burned. So the water elementals are a bit away. And the Hunts are low, but they're still dangerous. Crazy, crazy game, as promised on Echo Isles. Those two provide us with action-packed maps all the time. That's why they are some fan favorites. Need some lasted here on this peasant. Doesn't go for it yet. Okay, kills two. Good decision making here. Get the it's main damage. To reach the main. It's impossible. Where is it? There's only one tower. Where's the Archmage? He's in the south. Oh, he has one water elemental available. Yeah, there's two guard towers now down at the expo. Can't crack that anymore. 
Two wisps coming, maybe APs or a engine of wars even. Or just to detonate against water elementals. But good move to pull them. And Yumi has to repair, and that's automatically damaged against the economy. But AP. Yumi is coming from the south. There is a water elemental here. AM almost has the mana for a second one. Congo line though, the army is split across the entire map and no light, only 47 food, there's not much in this army, militia being called double water elemental, where's the dispel, there is one wisp, but a footman is taking care of it, la light with mistakes here, and he's just running away, this AP two, will be cancelled. Two water elementals is too much damage, can't fight those. Alright, and now, plan A failed, what's plan B? Well, certainly not attacking, as it seems. 500 gold, 600 lumber, no tech, just more pressure. Hunters are healed up again. Demon Hunter level 3.3. Archmage on the other side. Oh, same level actually, but what? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 footmen. And the expansion is up and running. Tech has not started. And this mass tier 1 on both sides. And Hunters versus footmen, it's definitely Hunters superior as long as there's not too many water elementals. But again, no dispel. But there are water elementals, man, and the damage is substantial. Hasn't lost a Huntress in a long time, so that's pretty nice. This game is not over yet, but I think it's heavily leaning in Yumi's way. And I believe the big mistake this game was not getting boots or staff on the demon. Had he been in that decisive fight south earlier, everything could have been different. He's going for plan B expansion now. But that is going to be so extremely yeah, late, so man. Late. The tier 2 tech is going to be finished before the expo. This <laughs> this looks like all but impossible. Yeah, Yumiko started this tech. Does he get the water medal for experience? Yes, he does. Yeah. And Yumiko, he has all the time in the world. Now expecting this expansion to come, moving over. Oh, he's exposing his base here, though. Could he kill the towers? Yeah, it's a bit of piercing towers. damage. Uh, it's dangerous. There's so many peasants repairing, man. Yeah. They will suffer a bit, and he will lose a few peasants, but he can easily afford it with 1.5k yeah. gold. It's just mass production of peasants here. NP, and Lolite is losing this Huntress. Not a good move. Shouldn't still be supposed to be that way. Level 4 now, though. But yeah, you can see it. Expansion cancelled. Muddy the Mud Golem! Purchased on Yumiko's side. He doesn't even need to TP back to save his expo. The towers are strong enough now. Yeah. And, and three and uh, four are coming. This is checkmate. We see seven peasants in production here. <laughs> he can easily afford it and now TP back as he's going for the tree. Ah, actually not. This is such a small force. Moon juice is completely empty. It's nighttime though, but here's the next kill. Slow is working fantastic on those Hunters. And on the Demon Hunter as well. Not going for a Surround, not comfortable enough. Without the water damage. Doesn't have a TP. Mud Golem looking to reapply the slow perhaps. Could be the kill. He's hustling. He's going, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Gonna and there's get the you good. And here's the fireballs. And that is the GG. Yeah, it is. Wow. Action-packed first map with a better ending for the Chinese who's taking the 1-0 lead in a very important map as Echo Alts is basically 50-50, um, I think. Expansion is good, but also hero levels uh, easily acquirable, so pretty good for Night Elves with Warden especially, but Loliath decided not to go for that and he was punished. So 1-0 for Yumiko. Yeah, and... Uh... He reminds me of, uh, this game reminds me a little bit of, who was it? Life versus Czech or someone where life went Huntress Rush three games in a row. You remember that? And oh. it never worked. That was uh, Life versus Moon. Life versus Moon, yeah. And everyone was thinking about, why is he doing this? Like, <laughs> did he bet on Moon or something? Like, what is going on? Why is he playing this way? And turned out he was just tired, so he didn't want to have to play long and exhausting games. And I wonder, is, like, is that maybe what's happening to Lolite here? Because why does he feel so forced into that all-in pressure? Yeah. You can just counter-expand. It's yeah. Echo. It's Good an question. easy counter-expansion Good map. question. I don't know. Um, don't really have an answer for that. Maybe he felt like this is the right thing to do. And maybe, you know... Yumiko is known for putting on so many lumber mills in front of the expansion, so he thought, okay, maybe if I give him too much time, 
everything will be protected. And so I have to break this on tier 1. Not too sure. Uh, n n n next map is Last Refuge. And there's definitely a chance. <clears throat> That's probably the best human map we have in the map pool. So not looking bad for a 2-0 Yumi lead. But after that, we don't really have good human maps left. So might still be in the cards for Law Alliance to bring it back. But first things first. Doesn't mean, of course, that LR is going to Yumi's way. It's not like heavily favored. Humans lately have been complaining a lot about maps, and I think they have a decent reason too, because they have some troublesome maps. Especially AI comes to mind. Turtle Rock, <clears throat> Twisted Meadows, against Night of especially Twisted Meadows, which was vetoed, by the way, earlier. So, we saw. Demon Hunter on the unusual Demon Hunter map. Are we going to see Warden on the unusual Ooh. Warden map? Yeah. That uh, could be interesting. This time Yumiko plays it a lot more standard. Altar, Barracks, no problem. Yeah, we have to check the Altar of Elders. <clears throat> it is possible to play Warden here. I would think that... Lolite is playing Mass Hunters again. We saw from Foggy how great this can be on this map. Uh, you creep a lot, get level 3, have 2 engines of war, and then pressure, 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 pressure. It is all inning, of course. He did it on Echo Isles. Um, I think it works better on Last Refuge than it does on Echo, though. Well, the opposing natural is certainly closer. However, Merc Camp support is going to be very hard to acquire, and usually you do rely on that. And it's going to be a warden. Damn, do I have the calls or what? <laughs> yeah, sometimes uh, you have you have your moments, Remo. That's why I keep you here, of course. Those moments are every day, Neo. Every day. <laughs> like every those day. days where you uh, confuse Lin and Fly and Infi and TH <laughs> and WFC and 120. That's and... not my fault, okay? No, they, no, no. They should just use their goddamn real names and then everyone would be happy. <laughs> Like Yumiko, you know, Yumi is my bro. Yumiko is a Yumi bro. Well, it's, it's understandable. Very cool guy. And uh, seems like he's talking to Ukri Linen a lot recently, which will most likely result in a very interesting article. I don't know when this is going to be released, but I heard some things about the, uh, the plannings of Ukri. And yeah, definitely an important article coming out soon on Warcraft3.info. Shout out to you guys. Footy scouted the Warden. How does Yumi react? He still goes for the Instant Expo. This can be super dangerous because, as always, when you go for the Instant Expo, AM is going to be level 2 for a long time, most likely. And hunting down level 2 Archmage is mm, yum, 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 juicy, juicy. Indeed. Wisp looking for the detonate kill, but good micro by Yumi, dragging it away. Actually even gets the kill, and that will be his level 2 immediately after finishing the camp. And that's a bit of a mistake here. By Law Lion. Speaking of calls, man, there's a second engine of war right next to the shop, so we're both right. Damn our knowledge here, right? That's what that's what that's what we are known for. Knowledge and skill. Absolutely. And drinking. <laughs> but there's no hunter's hole yet. So he plays mass arch of uh, mass arches right. so far. How good is the protection here? How many peasants are gonna die? I would say he needs to kill at least two to make his time down here worth it. And he wants the experience as well, of course. Yumi can just easily deny it, right? Isn't I don't even think damage? it's enough damage. Nah, I mean, yep. either. Ticking already. Oh, this is not not a good opening for Lolliot. Plus no Huntress Hall. He denied it. So I guess when the Warden comes in again, she's not going to find that experience. Oh, this is not so good. This is not so good at all. Archers coming in now, though. Both Ancients of War are on the move. And the tech starts. So he pressures a little, trying to find some kills on the peasants and kill some towers here and there, and then oh. go into mass creeping. The AM is away though. The AM went away to wake up the creeps against the Ancient of War, might kill that one, but he's exposing his peasants now. There's gonna be level two for the warden, definitely. It's gonna be three peasants dead. One has been su uh, denied earlier on by the AM. And I don't know about this move by Lolli, uh, by Yumi. He doesn't even get the kill on the Ancient of War. There's one more Shadow Strike, but it does not use it yet. Wanted to save the mana and the Moon Juice. So not going for an all-in aggression seems to be the 
Perfect call here. I really love the footy positioning here up north. If Lolite goes for the creep here, a creep jack could be game winning or game losing for the night elf. And here comes the hunter's hall now. Way in time. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, maybe he goes for one. I don't think so. If there's defense, he can go for one hunters or so, but I don't think he's going to go for it. And Water Elemental saw the Warden moving down, who is looking towards the Merchant now. Uh oh, the AM finds himself trapped, perhaps. No, no. Does not. Risky move to go for the boots, but definitely worth it. There's never enough damage to force the Archmage out. So I think the Warden needs a staff now, without the mobility of boots. He has 700 gold, he can easily afford it. There's one Wisp parked to the left, which usually would go for a counter expo, but him not trying to go for it with so many resources may suggest a tier 2 all in approach. There it is. Very unusual position, yeah. though. Pretty late. Could have gone for it way sooner, like he had the resources for so long. A player's forces are under attack. Archmage got and dust and the staff. Wow, so much mobility. On this Archmage. Plus, uh, he has a Water Elemental, so if he finds that expansion... So good call by Lolite to build it here, where uh, Yumiko is not expecting the Expo. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would be dead now. It's a pretty usual counter-Expo spot, though, you know. Sort of. Warden gets the last hit, big item. Only scroll. Yeah, sells it immediately, right? Did he? Yeah. yeah for boots, okay. A <clears throat> detonate, or oh, a lot of detonate. Wisp uh, kills the water elemental and the mana is gone. Tier 2 now. Finished. And I wonder if he plays it solo. Lores first. Maybe if the warden is 3, he goes for a panda. Or maybe he plays it solo. We'll see about that. Yumiko far away from level 3 though. Oh, That's look at the footy. Booster. Footy finds the tree. Here we go. AM, does he have staff? He does. Wouldn't be surprised to see I think him it's staff too late now. without the expansion. What do you mean? Panda second. Uh, w without mana. Without water elementals, I mean. Oh, ah, he he's waking up the, up the creep. So smart. Oh, yeah. 200 IQ play. <laughs> and now that's enough damage. Alright, but the one's coming in. Can can she protect her tree here? Oh, the footies are coming in. Yeah, no way. This tree's gone. Wow. Great timing. Great, great, great timing. By Yumiko. And... That tree could have been placed a lot sooner, so perhaps there was a window there to get that to finish, but it's over now. Laliot is detonating so many wisps that is costly at the end. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Like oh, Yumiko does yes, with a creep right. jack, drunk in haste, so lots of misses, but it doesn't really help. The archer dies as well. Double mercenary again. But the Archmage is, is, is in trouble. Shadow Strike ticking off, but he can't. The panda is surrounded. Usually those would be friends, drunken buddies around him, but this time they're enemies. And I think he'll die here. Does he get out by some miracle? They're missing a lot, but they still might be killed. Can you imagine that smell being surrounded by seven drunken soldiers? And he surrounds the warden as well. Please. There's you no mana for Blink! There's no mana for Blink! You can't get out except for the town portal. I told you get a staff, man. Uh, wow, wow, nice calculation by Loliot. This level up saved his ass, man. Pretty cool plays by both. Yeah. Yumi, I think, especially playing well here. And then decides to leave the boots of speed next to the shop. But <laughs> other than that, pretty good. <laughs> Players' forces are under attack. So a little more time of the warden, but the panda stuck in the altar for a bit, and his leveling is gonna be super slow. Yeah, and Yumi is already tier two. He's getting his sanctums up. He still has one thousand gold to spare. Is there a sh workshop coming somewhere? Not really. Halley second. Unusual, but against the warden, I guess it makes sense. Maybe the one way he loses this game is by losing the, the Archmage, so I think nice. understandable. Still level 2, man. Warden level 3.3. Fan of knives now, no blink. Drunken it's the haze. saddest panda ever, man. He still only has Drunken Haze. 
It's like missing an old friend. The Breath of Fire is not here. He's only a shadow of his former self. Alright, Ancient of War number two though is still alive. With that, he's gonna be able to creep the merchant. He's gonna swallow creep the panda here. I think that's necessary. The warden. Has to wait for the Riju from the bear, which the bear still hasn't been started. This is looking like a pain of a game. This is the only safe creep spot that Laliot has left. He does not try to go for a second expansion. Gets a good item though. Mana stone on the panda. Hallelujah. And level 2 for him. But the Archmage is coming in and scouts for this expansion. Scouts for more creeping. Doesn't get it here. But the rest of the army with the paladin is going for the mercenary camp. So, yeah, paladin, the only reason to go for him is to keep the Archmage alive, right? Yeah, and I guess you can keep the rest of the army alive, but only AM is really crucial. Yeah, I'm not 100% sold on it, but I think it's okay. Ooh, AM in trouble here, but he always has the staff. And we'll get out. It was good damage, though. An item... Ah, Devotion Aura. So, 1-1-1 one, one, one build basically on the Paladin now. On, only level 2. Are under attack. All right, 64 supply for Yumi. When's he gonna run across the map? Getting more and more priests. Only two sorceresses so far, so only four slows at the moment. But I mean, it's only two bears to worry about anyways. But there's level three Panna now, there's level three Ward. I'm pretty sure she has Fan of Knives level two. So the AoE is pretty heavy. And at the moment, the human doesn't have heal scrolls. He needs to get some of those. Mana stone for the Paladin. He can spam Holy Light until the end of days with this item. Plus a Zeppelin, so whenever there's Shadow Strike or a uh, fan of knives coming in into very important units and you can save it with them. Still no workshop though. Heavily reliant on Rifleman. I don't know if that's enough in the late game. Well, he's gonna keep his, his camp as well. He's taking his time here, is Yumiko. Both giving Lolai time to creep up for higher levels and possibly even go into upkeep. He's getting ready for upkeep now with additional Moonwells in the main. Panda's almost... no, Warden's almost level 4. Alright, but now he has the heal scrolls. Has two of them. Tome of experience as well. Get him closer to level 4. And now it's go time. Can the Night Elf hold the incoming push? 75 supply versus 47. This is gonna be so strong. Warsong Battle Drums at level 4 though. That's strong. But is it strong enough? He goes to the shop again... For what? Ah, dust. Alright. And another heal scroll. Engine of War will the scout this. Does he, have a he does have a town the portal. Counter push with bears could be the key. <clears throat> there is a TP on the Archmage. But of course he would love to fight next to his moon wells. There's plenty of juice in it. And reinforcements, of course, would be there. He's grouping up Town Portal. How far forward is it gonna be? Pretty far forward, as far as it gets, actually. And where's the combo? Drunken Haze. Fan of Knives. Breath of Fire, there we go. First heal scroll used already. But he has two more after this. And the bears, two of them are stuck in the back. They can't get out. Riju being used. By the way, Riju can be very good here. We have no breakers at all at the moment. Mass detonate coming in. The wisps are moving in to drain the mana and get rid of the water mantle. Can the light actually make this work? The next swallow of healing has been used. Only one left. Can he fight all of this human stuff? Oh, still a lot of alive. holy light here. Panda in trouble. Uses the last moon juice. The bears are being microed back, but two of them are about to fall. Next fan of nice. Wow, what a healed scroll. Protecting them from death here with the fan of nice. Really well done. But Yumiko still at 77 supply. A lot of that army is footmen, though. They will easily fall. There was the last fan of knives. How many breath of fire? Zero. Rejuvenation is helping a lot with the warden in trouble there. Is there enough damage? Another fan of knives here, thanks to the moon juice. And I think it's overwhelming. The bears are falling left, right, and center. Heroes are low. No mana anymore. One more scroll of healing. Must have been a potion, right? Yeah. Or oh, the mana stone. Yeah, the mana stone was transferred to the warden. Is she dead now? Yes, she is. And Law Light losing the second map in a row with three match points for Yumiko now. And the human was never breaking a sweat in this game at all. Yeah, man. Strong play through and through. And... Hmm. Yumi, impressing me today. 
And Lord Light, unfortunately, <sighs> he's still quite far away from where he used to be. Think back to 2000, 2015, where he made all those human players tremble in their boots when they had to go up against him. Yeah. But nowadays, man. Not the case anymore. Absolutely not. A shame. A shame, Neo. Shame! 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 <laughs> yeah. Laliat, uh, we talked to Remind. He said maybe he's focusing too much on entertainment on his stream and not preparing for tournaments that much anymore. Could be the case, as Yumiko seems to be a lot better prepared for this match. Yeah, oh, and Yumi definitely matches. a player who puts in the work, mm -hmm. who thinks those strategies out through very specifically, especially in the early game. If the light just gets to the late game in, in a comfortable position, I think he's got a good shot. Yeah. But he's trading 2-0 now. But those were, especially with LR, some of the better maps for human. And now it's the worst human map imaginable. It's AI. But Yumiko decided to let this go through rather than TM, which he wants TR. to play even less. I think he banned TM though, right? Mm, wouldn't he ban TR and Lolai bans TM? No, nope. because they I don't want to phase tanks and stuff. I think it's the other way. Usually, Night Elves always like TM aside from Rudan. Yeah, but why would a human leave TR in the pool? I don't know. They they do. I'm not too sure about I'm this. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. Countdown. Yeah, Ancient Isles definitely one of the worst maps. Ancient Isles. I think is the rarest map to see Warden on, even yeah. more so than AZ or LR. So Demon Hunter, definitely to be expected here. Emulation pressure can be super painful. That's right. I'm pretty sure we won't see a uh, Warden here. That would be pretty unheard of. But it's all right. Everything is possible. And here we go. Map 3. Match points for the human. And a 3-0 would definitely be a big statement towards uh, the world elite. That Yumiko is back. His results were not too bad. Just remember GCS uh, pre-qualifiers last week where he eliminated Lin from his group in the final. So one week killing Lin and La Lyad is an exclamation mark for sure. And a sign towards Korea, who have been shown the sign before. Remember, at GCS, not a single Korean made it out of the group stage. Yeah. Crazy. Only Chinese and, of course, our boy Foggy being able to make it through. We do have three Koreans now in the playoffs already. And will one follow tomorrow? Uh, maybe with uh, Remind playing against Life. So it could be 4-4. Four, four. Which would be very nice. But yeah, it would be the second human in the playoffs after TH. And the third one could be follow as well as tomorrow we have the biggest match of the group stage with 1-2-0 versus Infi. So it's either gonna be a th third human or a second undead after Lucifer made it. Yeah, man. I, I, got, I was a little disappointed today because I may have to work tomorrow. I'm trying to get rid of the shift, but I'm not sure if I will be able to. And I wanted to really see that game, yeah. but then they played tomorrow, not today, so... Yeah, no this app. was uh, out of nowhere. I woke up today and Ugri said, Oh, the tomorrow's games are pre-pwned. They say uh, they, they play both at the same time. I was like, what? That's, that sucks. But uh, it was just swapped. So we will see all four games here at uh, NSL lower bracket. Before we go into the playoffs next week already. Archer moving out immediately. I think that's pretty unusual, right? So the Demon Hunter is creeping this himself only yeah. with the Ancient of War. This way he's gonna get the Shadow Priest very quickly. Oh, an instant expansion from Yumi. Whoa. Um, that's very, very unusual, but makes sense, I guess. Demon Hunter is far away. And he doesn't expand. He just creeps it? What? Well, it was very hard. What? What? I don't get it. He took out the Poison Creep and the Purger. 
So I don't I, understand. Everything is hurt now. Can he call new militia and then finish the creep spot? Because But why didn't he just finish it? Because everything is hurt now, as you can see. He pulls the same. Wow, but, okay, he swaps out a few. What so, is what? going on? Okay, th that he's creeping now is super unusual. Did he see something in the top? I don't think so. Because it would be smart to get rid of the poisoned militia, swap them out for healthy ones, because then the demon hunter's coming in with immolation, and that would be very easy for the night elf to kill them. But this way, I do not have a reason. Yeah, maybe he saw the archer and the shadow priest up there so early and he got afraid. But this doesn't look like it makes a lot of sense. No. And here we go! Now it's militia time! Oh, and look at how many... Ho, 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 ho. This is 10 militia! For a half of a creep camp. All right, it's nine militia now. He was like, all right, you know what? Ten is too much. Ten is too many. I think I we nine is nine. fairly normal for Yumiko on AI. I saw this before many times of his. But he gave the Knight of Time now to get the Berserker as well. And here we go. But, archers, but there's no immolation. Emerged. It's only mana burn. And the Demon Hunter is already halfway dead. So this Overseer, easy kill for him. I like it, actually. There's hmm. not too much slide can do. Gonna get the boots this time. Tree of Life, by the way, coming up in a super, super unusual spot. I don't think this is gonna get scouted. Gets level 2, almost gets surrounded. Item goes towards the AM with a parry up of vitality. But this archer and merc uh, investment hasn't done anything. Not a single kill found. Oh, but if he gets the town hall, that will be massive. But the demon is too low to do this. Exactly. Here's the Tree of Life that you were mentioning before, at the starting creep spot, indeed very unusual. Tech backs this up, and the Engine of War continues to creep. Immolation almost necessary here, but the Scout Tower is already up, Arcane Tower will be up, and he does have a lot of peasants here to work with, so it's not losing too much time. I really like this play of Yumiko so far, it was weird, it was super unusual, and it doesn't make much sense on paper, but it worked out. Fantastic! Hmm, I'm still not convinced. But what's wrong with the human's position now? Expansion is up, tower is prepared, everything is yeah, healthy, Archmage it level two and a half. It could have been faster though. He he went for the creep, for the gold mine, then he went back, then he went for the little uh, camp, then he went back to the gold mine. Yeah, he went so... for the little camp for uh, the brilliance aura. I think if he would just finish the creep spot here, then we have the mercenaries ready and a stronger demon hunter, so he kills a lot more. I really like this. Eh, I'm not convinced. More militia coming in. The AM needs to be careful here. No boots on him. Still no level 3, by the way. One of the big issues for human, once you take your natural, oftentimes you're still not on that ever so important level 3. Furizo keeping the mercenaries at bay pretty well, but with the boots of speed, they might get run down also. Tier 2, nearing completion for Law Light, but not quite there yet. And where's the Archmage? What's he doing? He got the boots of speed as well, so he's gonna have to worry a little bit less about the steam. And at the same time, we have the March of the Ents towards the south of the natural of the Nido. To that, and creeping this will take a lot of time if he wants the exp uh, experience, which he totally does. Mana burn again, so no water elemental currently. Ooh. Nice right clicks. A lot of damage. No. He has a shop. Oh, he does have a shop, yeah. But no potion, just scroll of regen. Oh, he's gonna dive. But he gets oh. surrounded. Oh man, Yumiko. We Doing have. It with a... We have seen this so many times in the past where players are not using their gold mining workers to block. Yumiko this time on point. And I think he positioned this exactly this way intentionally. So yeah, you, right? can, you know that's only one spot to enter. It's really cool. That's that's just a typical Yumi thing. And look at this. One peasant and uh, one footy on defense can now keep all these units away. And nothing <laughs> of the healing gets cancelled. Yeah if there was a pro gaming scene in SimCity I think Yumiko would be on top of course. Yeah, really. Yumi looks so goddamn strong sometimes. And today seems to be one of those days. So, Panda second again, but he needs a lot of time. This creep spot will help. This creep spot will be fairly easy as this assassin will just attack the trees usually. And as I say it, he poisons the panda. Cast a curse. 
but the unit should be safe. And the Demon Hunter without level 3 trying to pressure more, but Blacksmith farms on front. There is only this one entrance. It's almost looking like tower defense here. Oh, by the way, Demon Hunter doesn't have a staff. If he gets surrounded here, he dies. Kind of dangerous. AM looking for the Creepjack, but not going to be in time to stop this camp from happening. Panda will get level 2 if he doesn't start denying like a champion. Lord. Oh, First he got kill. it. AM stole it, right? Yep, 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 yep. Gets the experience from the Water Elemental, though, but it's only level 1, so it doesn't make that big... Uh, it's, it's, the demon it's is surrounded in the middle no of the map. <laughs> Against I the trees! Oh, oh boy, God. rescue force panda. Can he save him somehow? There are, no, of course, can't. a few misses. There's nothing he can do. Uh, kill the archmage, maybe? No, the demon hunter is dead for sure. Oh. Breath of fire. It is pretty costly, though, to be honest. Drunken haze again. More misses. So many misses, but there's no damage. There is no damage. And this demon hunter is... Dead while almost fighting out of there. If he got away, that would have been disaster. <laughs> it would have been ridiculous. But he lost four footies for this, so yeah. it's pretty damn expensive. It was a level three demon hunter though. Not a level two anymore, but wow, buyback at the tavern. Oh, yes. And now it's time to clear the floor. Works pretty well, of course, with the dryads. You can't micro against this. And the panda, level 2.3 all of a sudden. Uh. And with losing all those footies, that's not too good. Going for the Naga now. There's no mana on this demon at the moment, so she's not in too much danger. How are the moon juice looking? Oh my god! Talented. Extremely bad. Nothing at all. It's, by the way, double engine of law and engine of wind. I was expecting some harassment from a zeppelin, I imagine. Both this warden still alive. The demon needs to be careful. Below 200 the HP. And Yumiko, man! The confidence with only yeah, two footies and so the two pressure. heroes. Gets the dryad. That loses the water elemental. Has another one though. Oh, don't lose the berserker, man. Berserker is so key right now. Alright, one bear is coming from the main soonish. He's gonna have Riju. In the Yumiko. meantime, though, I don't think Yumi can do too much. If he had all of his footies here still, there is a timing, but with two footies, yeah. nah. Yumiko is once again not going for a workshop, it's Rifleman Mass Casters. It is faster than the Mortar play. It's not that great as the Mortar, but if he wants to kill this earlier, then this is definitely the right choice. And with a Naga, this definitely points towards that. Double heal scroll, invo post for him, Town Portal as well. Quite good equipped. The Panda is not level 3, has a uh, Talisman of Evasion. So, double evasion on his units plus Drunken Haze. It's pretty good. Maybe uh, the army of Yumiko needs to eat more carrots to see a little better. Or drink aiming water, as we say in Germany. <laughs> aiming water. Nice <laughs> translation. <laughs> That's such a grandpa thing to say, right? Yeah, I'm on the pun level with you today, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Here we go, Riju comes into effect. Master training should be soon done. Yep, okay, halfway through. And Lolaid, I think, just needs to break up, keep here pretty soon. Defend. And then this game should be his. And don't forget about TPs, perhaps, because we've seen a lot of Night Elves dying recently to not having TPs. Sentry wards as well. Here comes Lolaid at level 2 for the Naga. So we have Fort Lightning now. A little bit of AoE, Archmage close to level 4. This is so good. Doesn't have Blizzard yet though. Oh, he steals the scroll of healing, that's really nice. Yeah. But still two on the human side, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we saw three. Well, actually I think it does matter. We saw three on... Whoa. He TP'd out away from one Dryad. That's nope. the only thing that can slow him down. <laughs> really? Yeah, and he's not that high on resources, so yeah. On Last Refuge, we saw three heal scrolls, and I think if he only has two heal scrolls, then double area of effect kills the army. But the third heal scroll was actually key because it saved a lot of units. Speaking of a lot of units, that Breath of Fire hit well. Heal scroll being used, Fort Lightning to counter that, Militia being called. Oh. Guess what he doesn't have? He doesn't have a TP, but the demon does not get surrounded this time. The bear, however, will certainly not be lost. He's oh, I didn't see the staff. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Enterprise is ready to beam him up. Oh my god, the jokes today. <laughs> I used that for years. Yeah, but just, you know, how quick they come in succession today. 
Already fairies joining the battle. More and more bears. Lolite is not being greedy. That's the right call, I believe. Just needs to get an army, defend, and then he should win this game. This time we have breakers. There was lack in that last refuge. He still managed to go for it, but the Reju was really good. And the Spellbreak is now there to steal that Reju. And the second one is there as well. 76 supply. 68 for Lawliot though, but this army doesn't look like 68 at all. That was a level 1 mana burn. Did he go for evasion when he got surrounded? Whoa. I think so. Certainly possible. Archmage again with the dual heal scrolls. He used one before, but this time scroll of protection as well. Of course, doesn't affect the breakers, right? But the rest of the army. Well, I would love to have a little more time here to get more army, and without mortar teams knocking on the front door, he may have that time. The towers come up very far forward, especially for Yumi standards. Five bears. Even more would be ideal, but it seems like he's forced into a fight right now. Militia uh, as well, as well as the scroll of protection in here. And the bears are building the front line, but one of them is not a master form. More bears coming in now, though. Seven bears, that's quite a big number. Is he going to use the staff on this one bear, or is he going to save it for the demon hunter? Seems like he wants to save it for the demon, who's close to level 4. An expert of fire coming in. Doesn't have mana anymore, and there's still a heal straw left. Even after the one he just used, and Yumi might still be doing this. The towers, though, in the back get cancelled, but so many of these bears are so close to falling. Call Peter. This is uh, very hard for the animals, man. And this is Laliot's tournament life on the line. Still so much stuff here for Yumiko. No way to break the towers. Oh, actually, he killed the towers, but no way to break them now, I think. Engine of War is gone, and he moves to the shop again. Shop control, super important in this matchup, and we have the heal scroll again. We have the protection scroll again. Mass investment on item, and it pays off so well. Here comes the Arcane Vault to block. This position is brilliant for Yumiko. And there's damage for the Ancient of, uh, for the Tree of Life. Next fight. The light struggling hard. Breath of Fire is really nice though. Forces the heal scroll immediately, but there is always a second one. In Bu Potion on the Naga, he dives in to kill those heroes, but the Demon Hunter is suffering hard. No Riju. Where's the staff? There we go. Shop is up. The Naga can buy something. I think it was a potion or the heal scroll being used again. Shop is down now. Oh, actually, he repairs it so that well. Shop. He can't fight into that shop. MVP shop, man, blocking the way. You were giving a bit of foreshadowing here. Yumiko is really the Sim City master. I thought this game was in the bag for Law Light, but nah, not so fast. Ivory towers now. More towers to protect this. And there's so much gold. 77 food. I would love for Law Light to buy a TP and TP to his expansion into everything. Yeah. So he doesn't have to walk in. Pretty expensive though. He doesn't obviously. have the resources. He doesn't have the resources at all. Come on, do it. Make me look brilliant. <laughs> he has the money now. Oh, Remo, the calls. Oh my god, check it out. <laughs> Here we go, reposition of Yumiko's army. This flank will be a lot better on this concave, but the bears are still stuck there. Still a good position for Yumiko, but the Naga is in deep trouble, and the Naga heal scroll saves her again, man. MVP heal, heal scrolls as well, plus the invo potion swap. Brilliant play by Yumiko, and now he moves back a little. The bear's still getting so much damage. He's waiting for the invo to wear off, but perfect movement. Drunken Haste and Breath of Fire doesn't affect the Naga at all, and the breaker standing strong at front. Now everything's starting to dip real low, but no more scroll of healing. Panda, however, no mana for him either. The guard towers have not taken out the expansion yet, but it's four of them now. He needs to deal with them quickly. Is Yumi gonna give him the time, or is he gonna re-engage? Decision time right now. All wisps are dead. He can't repair at the moment, and once he got the wisps back, they will just be sniped. Move the focus now to the unit, so there is time for repair. So many bears, will he lose that one? Oh, that was not necessary. Staff was off cooldown. Such a hard position now. For the light has to def decide between the army and the expansion. Where does he go? And of course, Yumiko is going to strike where the weakness lies. And this expo is dead, man. This expo is toasty McToast. 500 gold for Yumiko. No gold for Lawliot anymore. He invested everything. This is gonna be this one final push, but still Yumiko moving into positions where he has the little chokes, and that won him this game. If he wins it, then the positions won him the game. Man. And what he made of this uh, positions, of course. Really has. strong play by Yumi. So, so good. 
Yeah, fire reignited at Yumiko. He had such a disappointing year 2016. No WCA, no W, uh, no GCS. Only the two and two tournament. Here we go. Last fight of the tournament for Law Light. It opens up with Fork Lightning. Where is the panda? He has a lot of mana. So far, not using it. Moving into a better position. Here we go. Drunken Haste with a fire. Once again, two heal scrolls, though. Doesn't use him yet, though, and loses one of the breakers. Another one of the priests, by the looks of it. The demon needs to be careful, but gets micro to the back. Staff, of course, has been sold. No, it's on the demon hunter. Okay. But everything here is so injured. I think Yumiko could just A click this and win it that way, but he's not gonna do it in that fashion. He's not re expanding yet. Still a lot of peasants running around here. And now the timer is on Law Lyot. The expansion for Yumiko is running and running and running. Main gold mine 1400. So the thing is, if Law Lyot survives the main gold mines and then somehow breaks through the towers then he has a decent shot but look at this pickup time one bear wow. down level five for the archmage second bear down let's uh train our counting this time there's the staff but all good things come in threes and he wants this bear ah this spell on the slow but level three water elementals how does he want to get rid of it i think the lie doesn't want to believe it he may have thought this was his map to start the comeback on but man Again, the towers are coming in. Another bear seems to be biting the dust. In the back, the heal ward is really effective, but he needs to be more than effective, man. He needs to be imbalanced, broken, and crazy. And even then, it might not be enough as more and more bears are dying. Level four for the Naga as all this happens. What Leveling is so quick. Before? Leveling is so quick. Yeah, exactly. 48 versus 77. This position is pretty great, but the moon juice is once again empty. The panda has no mana anymore. The demon hunter can't do shit with this inventory. And the towers are coming in to close that choke. Militia for more meat shield up front. Demon hunter is dropping low to 150. Staffs out a bear again. How long can he hold on? He's close to level 5 on the demon. Will that make a difference? I'm not too sure, man. So much stuff on Yumiko's side. He's just moving forward and moving forward with his 2-2 two, two breakers now, investing his gold so wisely. Next bear down. No possibility to staff him as it's on cooldown. Both heroes so almost dead. And this is a clean sweep from Yumiko! Exclamation mark towards the rest of the world elite as he wipes Law Lyot off three maps. Wow! That was... Again, a super solid performance with an unusual early game. I think, I, yeah, you don't like it, but I did, and it worked out flawlessly. And again, there was not a single point in this game where I thought, oh, Lolai, it has uh, the upper hand here. I thought it was in a good position, but suddenly 70 supply, 75 supply rolls around and boom, it's over. I'm really impressed. I'm really, uh, really, really impressed. By super it. fast day today. Two and a half hours. Yeah, and for two, two with best of two fives. Two best of fives, yeah. I got a lot of time now. I only have to work at six. That's pretty good. What do you do in the meantime? Buy some mustard? <laughs> I'd still have mustard in my uh, fridge, of course. No, I will eat some pasta. Tortellini alla panna. Oh, not bad. I will upload the VODs, of course. And yeah, wait for some emails, but I don't think I will get a reply. What emails? Have you been ordering mail order brides again? <laughs> uh, no, I wrote to the agency that controls gambling in Germany. Ah, if yeah. We are allowed to work with gg.bet or not, because usually advertising gambling in Germany is forbidden, but there are some exceptions. Like, mouse boards uh, can advertise it, Ian's elders advertise it, Big advertises it. So, there must be a way. So, I contacted two lawyers, they didn't reply, so now I contacted the official agency. Uh, because it's a very good income for us. Isn't, hasn't, uh, haven't all Warcraft matches been removed from GGBet, though? Uh, since we are not partnering with them anymore, yeah. I guess, I don't know. I didn't check the page. Ah, do they only do that once they have partners involved? That's interesting. I don't know. But once this is solved, we will uh, let you know. Where did we leave off with the subs, Neo? Um, at... K 
Kaipa 2K. So we have Kaipa. two new ones. We have Tip Kakao. Yay. For subscribing for the first time and a six month resub by Gary Glitterer. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your support and welcome. You, of course, uh, get the replay packs right after the cast. Uh, what was the second map again, Remo? Echo? No, no was the, the first. first one? Was the first one. Last Refuge. Last Refuge, yeah. So I got this ticker that read more. Damn, man. Yeah, really, really fast. Tomorrow it's going to be big, and I really hope you can make it, as it's going to be a great day. Life versus Remind, one of the best Night of uh, Mirrors imaginable. And, of course, I mean, we don't have to hype this, right? Infi vs. 1-2-0. Many, many things were said about it. GCS rematch. The fifth time in, a, like, six weeks they will meet, and it was always so close. So, uh, we can recap this day a little and show you... Oh, recap this entire tournament a little and show you who's in the playoffs and who's not. So, Group A... Uh, will be completed tomorrow. Moon is already through, and the second place will go to a night of as well as WFZ fell in the lower bracket semifinal already. Surprisingly, to remind who will face life tomorrow, and the before mentioned group B is here too, with Lucifer winning that group against Colorful 1 to 0 and Infi. Big surprise there. So, one of the two uh, juggernauts will be eliminated tomorrow, Infi or 1 to 0. Group C, we've seen this today. TH was already qualified, and today it was Focus to follow him after a 3 1 over check. And a big surprise to me Fly and Yumiko making it through Group D. Fly already qualified, Yumiko 3 0 ing Law Lyot. That was pretty dope. I agree. All right, so tomorrow we figure out finally what our lineup's going to be for the playoffs. I hope I can make it. Really want to see those games. To be honest, I only want to see one of those games. <laughs> <laughs> it's so all right. you guys tune in again. Uh, tomorrow's not the only day, though, as we've mentioned a lot. Every day this week, for the rest of the week, we have lots of Warcraft action coming your way. And hopefully you'll tune in. Every day, 1 p.m.? Uh, oh, no, no. Tomorrow it's uh, at noon, and then it's every day at 1 p.m. with the GCS qualifier number one. With the groups have been drawn as well, you can check it out at wiki.backtowarcraft.com. And uh, speaking of which, all the information, all the news, all the uh, rumors will be spread across our social media at facebook.com slash backtowarcraft and twi uh, twitter.com slash backtowarcraft. And uh, if you missed a few games, you can find them all on youtube.com slash backtowarcraft. If you like what you saw, then feel free to support us uh, financially via PayPal. You can find the link below via buying our merchandise with shirts like these. And um, we have an Amazon referral link. We uh, You can subscribe to Twitch, of course, to get rid of the ads and get the replay packs and the emotes and uh, subscriber badge, etc, etc. I think that's basically it. But if I missed something, it's down there. There's also a link to Reddit and all the important stuff. So if you are interested in the Warcraft scene, that's the way to go. And there is a big interview with 120 up at warcraft3.info. You can find it there. Definitely worth a read. And that ex and he explains why he chose the Pit Lord in his game against <laughs> life, which is one of the coolest answers uh, I heard from a Warcraft 3 pro gamer in a while. So go check that out. Massive shout out to warcraft3.info and the guys at Liquipedia who are once again doing a phenomenal job. But Remo, there's one more thing. We have to do. We're gonna eat a whole can of mayonnaise right now, live <laughs> as our farewell. Not really, Remo. Really. We do this usually, but today we play the donuts. Goodbye, routine. Thank you for watching, and tune in tomorrow. Bye, bye. <laughs>